Okay, a lot full of wonderful classics today here at Maple Motors. I think we put 13 new cars on. You know, it's about that time. Let's do a lot walk. Okay guys, I'm up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and of course we got a website, it's maplemotors.com. Go there, check it out, get pre-approved with our financing, check out our shipping information, we have that available. And every week on Monday we put on new inventory. I've done this for a long, long time, always updating on Mondays. Throughout the week, every new car that I put on the site gets a full test drive video. It's not just a test drive. It picks out everything wrong with the car. That way you know exactly what you're, get, what you're getting before you get here. You know what to expect from Maple Motors. Check those videos out. Let's get started with this lot walk. So in this lot walk, I'm going to tell you the year, the price, and the model of each and every car. Additional information is listed in the descriptions on the website at maplemotors.com or in each individual test drive video. There's a playlist here on my channel for that. Cars currently available is one of the playlists. Starting up here in the front, this is a 1971 Chevy Chevelle. Somebody's changed out the front and rear clip on it to a 70. It's got the red interior. It's also got the red stripes. This is a big block 454 car, priced at 37.9. Half to market wheels, disc brakes. This one here is a 1971 Chevelle. It's in green with a cow hood. They have changed out the motor to an LS fuel injected motor. This one is 35.9. Also has the disc brakes and aftermarket wheels. Right next to that, <clears throat> got another Chevelle sitting here. It's a 1971 model. It's got the racing seats. It's got a little bit of like a gunmetal, it's a grayish, dark gray paint job with lighter stripes. And it's priced at 34 dollars Next to that is a 1972 Chevelle. This one's in green with a black vinyl top. And it's 29 dollars This was a 350 car. Good driver. This one's definitely the fastest Chevelle we own. 1971 turbo car, priced at 39.9. This one's got the bench seat, black. Set of weld wheels. A little bit of a rocket car here. Next to that, new inventory, 1969 Chevelle. I'm loving the way this one's looking red with the black stripe coming down the side aftermarket american racing wheels priced at thirty thousand nine hundred all right i'm gonna set up our gate here so we don't have people pulling in do not pull in the lot take a risk of hitting one of these beauties you can see the do not enter sign do not block the drive so we can get in and out people don't see that most of the time so i say it in the video here that way you don't make the same mistake because we got a whole parking lot next door. It says Maple Motors, customer parking. <laughs> All right, coming across the back side of this front row. Well, it's about one o'clock today. Whenever it warms up a little bit more, we're gonna wash all these. Being out here by Gallatin Road, the main street picks up some dust. So it's time for a bath. Coming down the right side of the lot. Should we start here or start there in the middle? We'll start in the middle. There's a lot of inventory here now. We have put on a lot in the last couple of weeks. Just like this one, a 1970 Chevy Nova. She's 29.9. Test drive video is out. And ready for you to check out. 1970 Nova beside it. 
30,900. New to the lot. Nineteen sixty five Buick Skylark, nineteen nine. And then a really low mileage nineteen ninety eight Ford Mustang convertible. It's got the tan interior, GT four six, eleven nine. Okay, now we're gonna work behind it. Behind this row of cars here. Nineteen sixty four Pontiac Le Mans convertible. And this one here is twenty seven nine. Nineteen sixty seven Chevy Impala. This one's thirty two nine, red with the red interior. Something new. 1966 Impala. It's like a maroon with the tan interior. I got to get to it to this this week. Uh, it's 25 nine. Yeah, with us being closed for Thanksgiving last week, it put me behind quite a bit. I typically make three videos a day, so I'll catch up. Right next to that, 1964 Chevy Bel Air. This one's new to the website as well. At 22 nine. Got the red interior. 1956 210 model. This is a five speed car, priced at 319. 1967 Chrysler Newport, 12.9. Sixty-seven D one hundred. We've had this one a little while. Somebody come pick it up. It's got the Hemi motor, and we've uh, dropped the price twice now. It's twenty-two nine. Again, if we don't sell it, we'll end up changing everything about it. It'd be kind of a fun project for us. Nineteen sixty-six Ford T Bird fourteen nine, and a nineteen seventy-two Ford T Bird at seventy-nine fifty. 1969 now this one here 1969 El Camino priced at 169 it's almost a tongue twister 69 69 <laughs> and another 69 model this is an Impala and it's priced at 159 okay guys as you can see, there's a lot more inventory right here in front of the office. We got lucky and scored a bunch of rides here the last couple of weeks where we could stock up. We're going to go ahead and check out what's in the showroom and the Hot Wheels room. And perfect time for the holidays. You could pick up some Hot Wheels here at Maple Motors or you could pick up some Maple Motors t-shirts. I have them available online under maplemotors.com under merchandise go check it out there's more designs online than there is here in person uh, with that being said Jim fights hot wheel stores here on premises as you can see it's a huge collection of every kind of little die cast car you can think of you know mainly hot wheels but pops has got everything let's just zoom in on something random old johnny lightning There's talks of Maple Motors making a diecast car, so we'll have that out. There's also an eBay store connected to us. You can check it out. Let's go ahead and go to the showroom. So in the showroom here, uh, we got a 74 Z28 Camaro. This one's 25.9. It's pretty clean. The four-speed transmission, nice interior. And there is a test drive video already out on it. All the cars in here. 96 Impala SS, 
Uh, for some reason, I think this one's sold, but if it's not, it's a really clean car. It's got nice interior. Somebody spent thousands doing the interior on this one. As you can see, high dollar stereo system. Spent a lot of money on the wheels. It's 24 9. 75 Chevy Impala. 22 9. Ford Giottos. Ford Giotto steering wheel. 68 Corvette convertible. One of my favorite cars on the lot. 34 9. And guys, wheels can be swapped out. That is a very easy thing to do. This one's a four speed car. And the two behind them are not for sale. These are personal rides along with this one. So don't call about those. All right. Got a nice row of cars back here. This one's 7950. It's a 1979 model. A little Dodge D50. Suburban. This one's 7950 as well. Runs and drives good. From 1975. How about 11.9? Y'all like these prices? I know you like the lower lower prices here. Everybody says they want under 20. I got them back here. This is a 1977 Chevy Corvette. What about a 13.9 car? This one here, 1965 Ford Fairlane. All these have test drive videos too. What about 15.9? And that's on a 1978 Pontiac Firebird. What about 18.9? Pretty nice little hot rod Camaro. It's a 1979 model. Z28 too. This one's new to the website. This one's pretty pretty sweet. Um, it's got a aftermarket motor in it. I'm going to be telling you all about it. It's a 93 model LX with a 5 speed. And I do believe it's a later model Cobra motor. But what I'm going to do today is test drive it, figure everything out, and I'll put that in my test drive video. But since I haven't test drove this car personally, I don't know all the specs yet. But it's 17.9, and MapleMotors.com will have a description where they've already went through the car. Right next to that, 1965 Mustang convertible. This one's blue, priced at 29.9. You know, some tires or some batteries. <laughs> this is pretty sweet. New to the site. 1959 Ford Ranchero. These Rancheros are very popular. Um, mom's side of the family. My grandfather, he had quite a few of them back in the day. Again, 1909. So, if any of y'all were interested in this Mustang, the deal fell through. This is a 2017 model 5.0 Mustang. Got the six-speed transmission, priced at $28.9. And I got this 1956 3100 pickup truck sitting here. This is a Chevrolet model, and it was lifted and done with the four-wheel drive right after factory. Pretty cool. It's $39.9. Running up the side. 1968 Chevy Camaro. This one's got the four speed transmission. 307 car, priced at 35.9. Next to that, uh, matching number 327 car. This one's 68 model Camaro, four speed transmission, priced at 30,900. 1968 Pontiac Firebird sitting here. This one has a price tag of $27.9. We do need to put that back on the window. It's been like last week. They didn't put it on, and I said something to me and never put it back on. That one y'all seen. We ended up selling it. It's going out today. 1969 Pontiac Firebird in green. Price at $34.9. 69 model Chevy Camaro 502 car. Oh, a lot of mods done to this one. 42.9. Red, white, and blue AMC AMX. 1969 model. Priced at 29.9. Okay. One more row. And then we've walked the lot. 
Have you picked out your favorite car yet? Let me know in the comments. 1960 model Thunderbird. I just did a test drive on this one. I absolutely love the curves of it. This one's 21.9. Let me just show you the tail lights. This one's in top running for my favorite just because of the style. It's sweet. Runs and drives good. I even took my son on this test drive. Betty Boop. Again, 21.9 on that car. 1967 model Chevelle. This is a convertible, true SS car. And it's priced at 45.9. 1940 Ford Sedan. This car here, 30,900. Nineteen fifty-five two ten model. This one here, thirty-five nine. I like the interior on this one. Paint job matches. It's like Santa Slate. Four speed. Okay. Well, we got a lot of new inventory. I know I keep saying that, but I just know how many test drives I need to get done. Nineteen fifty-five two ten. I'd say it's like a mint color with the white. It's 34 9. Next to that, 1956 Buick Special. You don't see many of these out. And this car is only 12 9. There's that price range, guys. That's the one y'all like. Okay. Again. We've walked the whole entire lot. We'll go to the sold bay here in just a second and make sure um, we didn't sell anything last week that y'all didn't get to see because I like to at least show you what comes through the lot. There's about 10% of our inventory that will sell before I can list it. That happens from people walking in from all over the country. It's been that way for years. I'm sure I'm not going to stop that. There's no reason to. With that being said, every car here does get that test drive video going over the flaws. And if you don't believe me, go watch one of them. I think you'll understand. We pick out everything. Okay, let's go to that sold bay and see what else there is. So guys, right past the showroom, which is right here. We've got a sold bay. We put cars in here until they get shipped out. Just keeps them out of the elements a little bit and they don't really sit here too long. Some of them are, are stored here for customers. Grand National. We'll start in the front here. Impala. No Firebird. Mustang. Firebird there. Oh Chevrolet coming up to the back. Whole nother row of cars. <laughs> Impala sitting there. It's a Biscayne. Y'all have seen it. Camaro. Mustang. And a C10. And then old GTO over there. Okay. Made it around the lot, guys. If you come in, be sure to holler at us in the office. We leave you at peace. As you can see, there's customers walking out there. We're not going to go out and harass them or bother them at all. We let you walk the lot. Uh, I think that's our number one complaint, though. We still try to come out and greet you. But uh, typically, if you're just browsing, we're going to leave you alone. But if you do need help and you're in that circumstance where you come out and come out to Maple Motors and nobody says anything, well, a lot of times half of us are gone or something. Come in the office, knock on the door, or whatever you got to do. We'll gladly help you out. That is definitely not an issue. But, Pops always taught us to let people look around in peace. And that's what we're going to do. It does work really well. But I think some people like that attention when they come to the lot. It's fine, I get it. I know when I go to a car lot, I don't want to be bothered. That's just me. I'm in the business. <laughs> 
Okay, guys. I do have some test drive videos to do. We have plenty of inventory this week. And I hope you have a good holiday. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving as well. I know I did. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.